Alrighty, so I am currently in a Colossal Titan train, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, one of my mods, Konata, farmed out a ton of tickets to do uh, <laughs> Colossal Titan, so I'll probably end up having the exchange shop done day one, but uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of show, um, I guess, a little bit of the, the, the use case of Mikasa's new relic. If you don't know, it basically just makes it to where if you have a full human team, I have her in the sub slot, by the way, because the relic does work in the back. Um, for every human ally on the field, you'll do 15% extra damage dealt. And I think for each human ally on the field, you also do... Um, or you get 10% basic stats per human, so I'm getting 30% basic stats because I've got a full human team here, and I'm doing 45% more damage dealt, uh, which is obviously very, very nice. So, um, Colossal Titan obviously is not a game mode that is going to be around for a long time or anything like that. It's very, you know, one, one and done kind of thing, but uh, you do have to farm it quite a bit if you want to get the, um, the exchange shop done. So uh, as a selfless plug, if you would like to join our Discord, I'm sure you'll find people over there that are willing to do some raids and stuff like that. So if you want to stop by or join, there's always a link in the description for my videos. Um, but uh, either way, if you... Um, I just kind of wanted to show off a little bit of the, uh, the, the strat that I'm using, I guess, for, you know, Colossal Titan, because, I mean... It works for single target attacks only, Mikasa's Relic does, so there is a strategy that people are doing where they have a 6-6 six, six bond, and then they just basically use the first turn to move cards, use the second turn to apply his Mark of Concentration, and then, you know, attack him a little bit, and then on the third turn, if you have a 6-6 six, six ultimate, um, they, I think they're using Kyo and Kizuna, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can basically use that giant uh, attack-related stat increase uh, from Kizuna and all of these, you know, ignite stacks that sort of add up from the uh, the Kyo to sort of just deal insane damage. I think the biggest thing I've seen, or I've seen a, a JP post about it before the update hit global, that somebody hit like eight million damage in one bond ultimate, which is enough to kill the entire you know boss's health bar in one move so obviously three turns to beat the boss solo by yourself is kind of insane uh but obviously you do need a 6-6 bond for that i like Escanor a little bit better because his ultimate is a single target so it should actually be using some of mikasa's passive uh or her holy relic to actually you know proc more damage and everything like that but um overall the human team is <laughs> i think the team to go for if you're going to be doing you know farming and everything like that for you know colossal titan but um there are a couple of nice little, um, whatchamacallit, like things in the exchange shop, a couple of little boxes and stuff with random materials, and you'll obviously get two of the Holy Relic boxes from this as well. So doing it is probably going to be a smart idea. Uh, it shouldn't really take you too long to farm it out, and make sure that you're doing it within these first couple of days, because like once people get their exchange shop over and done with, like you're, it's going to be really hard to find people who are willing to play this game mode. So um, yeah, make sure that you're uh, honestly just checking your mail and uh, I, I sometimes I have like a full page worth of people inviting me and everything like that. So I guess time of day is also going to be a little bit of an indicator there. But um, yeah, so far pretty consistent wins and everything like that. Obviously, I'm I'm not hitting you know top player every single time. If I had a six six bond, maybe I could pull that strat off. But uh, I'm just kind of having fun with it as well because I mean realistically, it's just kind of like a cool little co op game mode where you and three people sort of just go in and try to see who can do the most damage, which is kind of fun. But um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not really that worried about getting just a couple of extra rewards, but if you do have a 6-6 bond, this might actually be your time to shine. You could pull that strat off and pretty much get first place every single time, unless you, I guess, go up against somebody who also is doing the strat, but, um, yeah, honestly, I really just like this game mode in general. I think that, uh, I think it's really cool. I really like stuff like this. Obviously, you know, like I said, once people get done with it, uh, it's really hard to find people who will actually play with you, but, uh, it is really fun while it lasts, so either way, uh, that's pretty much all I had to talk about. I just wanted to talk about the Mikasa Relic a little bit and, uh, you know, maybe plug the Discord a little bit. If you're having, you know, a little bit of trouble finding people, you might be able to uh, hop in uh, one of the, uh, like, help channels or something like that and see if people are around to raid. So uh, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, you can see Bond just does really nice, consistent damage, and then once you build up some of these Ignite stacks and the Escanor passive, like, he'll start to do more. I think pushing his ultimate is a little bit better in my, you know, scenario, just because I do have him maxed out. He is using a single target for the Mikasa pa or, uh, Holy Relic, so... 
I don't know, maybe a little bit situational depending on who you have. I know that the last time they had this event, it was, like, you could basically solo it with uh, Assault Mode because he was, like, one of the newest festival characters to be out back then, uh, which is pretty funny. So this is, like, best case scenario, too. I'm going to get Escanor and Bond's ultimate in the same turn, and I'm reapplying Mark of Concentration right here. Uh, so that'll actually be kind of nice. Level 2 card doing 510,000. Obviously, th this mode is a little bit unique in the fact that, like, you're pro you might be able to hit some of these kind of numbers in regular PvP. PvE activities as well, but um, probably a little bit of a one-off. Like, m maybe not uh, Maybe not every single game mode is going to utilize the Mikasa as well as this one will, and because this is an event that is, you know, only on during the collab, uh, we might not have the greatest use case, but um, either way, I figured it would be worth mentioning, but... Um, Okay, I think I can... I'm going to see if I can take first place right here. If we use this first, I don't think it'll kill, and then we can use... Um, these two cards right here. And then that ultimate from Escanor should do pretty big. That was 1.2 million. This is also going to be, yeah, 1.5 million. Um, and then this right here might kill. Okay, it does. That's an extra 200,000. So that's me doing over 3 million damage, I think. Or r close to it. Um, so that should hopefully put me in first place here. I guess it depends on what they use as well. Because Konata is also using a pretty like high damage team i think uh i think he sent me a screenshot in in discord and uh, he was using i think he's using the like alt rush strategy as well which is why he's hitting big numbers on like one turn and then he'll go like one or two turns without doing much of anything so if you're seeing people like stalling quite a bit and then they just do big damage this is pretty much what they're doing so yeah i did take the lead there so uh honestly pretty cool i don't know let me know if you have any cool like teams or strats that you're using on it obviously like i said the, the game mode's not going to be around forever so it's probably not worth like strategizing too much but it is kind of fun while it lasts so either way thanks for watching feel free to subscribe i'll see you next time